Good morning students. Today we are going to start chapter 2 in EVS. The chapter name is Senses of Touch and Smell. In this chapter, first we will discuss about what are sense organs. Second, sense of touch. Third, good touch and bad touch. Fourth, sense of smell. Fifth, differently abled people. Humans have five sense organs that is eyes, ears, nose, tongue and skin. Five senses related to these organs are sight, hearing, smell, taste and touch. All sense organs are important. Our senses help us to understand what is happening around us. All the sense organs have nerves. These nerves send messages to the brain which tells us to act according to the situation. Now, sense of touch. The skin is the largest organ in the human body. It can help us to feel the things that we touch. In a skin, thousands of nerve endings are there which send signals or information to the brain when we touch any object. It decides whether object is hot or cold, rough or smooth, wet or dry, etc. Our skin color is decided by a pigment melanin which is present in our skin. We should avoid touching the things that may harm us as we should not touch hot utensils. We should be careful when we touch any pointed object or electronic appliances. Now we will see good touch and bad touch. When our mother hugs us or our teacher pats on our back, we feel comfortable, good and encouraged. It is called good touch. And when touching by someone make us feel uncomfortable or scared, it is called bad touch. If anybody tries to touch you in a bad way, you should seriously ask the person to stop. Always report bad touches to your elders. Sense of smell. The nose is that organ which helps us to smell different things. The air we breathe contains tiny smell particles which we can't see. The nose has special smelling cells. Whenever we smell anything, smell particles stick to these cells. These cells send signals through nerves to the brain and the brain identifies the smell. Differently abled people. Sometimes in some people, senses do not work properly. We must be sensitive towards their needs and take care of them. Some people cannot see or hear. Over time, their other senses such as touch and smell become more developed. They use these senses to understand the world around them. Blind people cannot see, so they use their sense of touch to read. They use a special script called Braille in which letters and numbers are written in the form of raised dots. People who cannot hear use sign language to communicate. All differently abled people should be given more love, support and respect. Thank you.